Hey folks, as you saw in the thumbnail, this is an unboxing. My name's Jake, this is Canadian Cutting Edge, and I've got a package of this size. I know one of the things that's in here for sure, and I have been waiting over a year to get this issue solved, and I think this will help me with that issue. Uh, those of you who know that I've been, I was working very much last year at this time, and for about five or six months, I really wanted to figure out a system where I could test how well a knife steel keeps its edge. So how much work you can do with it before it loses its edge. Uh, people like uh, Peter over on the Cedric and Ada channel, he had a system that's quite well and he's got a long extensive list where he's been comparing different steels and how long that steel keeps an edge under use. I just couldn't find a system that I thought was uh, repeatable enough accurate enough for my personal um, choices. My, what's the word? I don't forget what the word is I'm looking for, but my personal way of doing things. I wanted something to be super accurate. And I finally found something when I was watching Perfection. A uh, guy from Quebec. Quebec. <laughs> a guy from... Uh, oh, what's that big state? California. A guy from California who... Uh, mostly does kitchen knives and he does hand sharpening uh, stone sharpening by hand and um, he got one of these systems several months ago and when I saw it I knew I wanted to get one of those and so uh, I finally ended up making contact with the company that makes the same system that he uses to uh, measure how sharp a knife is and then once you can measure how sharp a knife, a steel edge of a blade is, then uh, you can then do some uh, standardized use of a knife so that um, after that, you know, you know, let's say you've got a knife or any knife and you cut a standard, a standard sized piece of rope, you know, 50 cuts and you do that with every single different steel, and then you can see the difference between what it was before and what it is later. And this is the product that uh, he was using. Edge on up. And the way that it works is, it works by, well, I'll, I'll give a link to his video on Perfection where he shows how it works. And it works basically by, you put the blade down on a piece of wire until it cuts through, and it measures how much pressure it took to cut through. And that shows you how sharp the knife is. And after you've used it, you know, say you cut a piece of rope 30 times. Now when you try to cut through a little piece of wire, it'll take more pressure. And then you can determine the difference between those two pressures. And that can be a, you know, a number. Well, it will be a number. But you use that number to see how the percentage of a difference that it made. So if it wore down by 30%, well, it wore down by 30%. Uh, so, you can take a different steel on a different knife and do the same thing, and uh, you can see that that knife maybe made a 25% difference, and so I mean that one's better than the one that made 30. We'll get into it in more detail later on, but this box, my sister packed some more stuff in here other than just that, because I've bought some other things as well. Now, I got a flashlight so she flattened the box to get it in there by Falamov so Falamov makes flashlights I've reviewed Falamov before and now I'm reviewing the Camp D4 Camp D4 takes 18650 batteries and I'll be doing a review of this flashlight coming soon it's uh, 1080 lumens at maximum on you know a standard basic size you know, the size of my fist, you just barely see it peeking out, kind of flashlight. That's a standard 18650. So we'll do a review of that. Put that aside right here. Falamov lanyard, Falamov instructions, blah, 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 go through all that stuff. And the other item that we're looking at is the uh, Artisan Cutlery. My very first knife from Artisan Cutlery. Pretty nice box high quality box there and uh, yeah a little pouch a drawstring pouch 
Here's uh, their logo, and I'll do a close-up of that. And here is the knife. Uh, the first one that I chose is sort of a cleaver design, sort of a uh, Asian kind of styling cleaver-esque uh, orange highlight on the uh, pivot screws, black and white G10, pretty good feel in the hand, left to right pocket clip, and uh, backspacer, some skeletonizing on the liners, um, I forget, yeah, D2 steel on the blade. I really liked how they've got really small print describing the, the knife right there on the Ricasso. Really, really nice. Like that quite a lot. Oh, I like that that forward trail is big enough that I can actually get my finger in there. Flipper. It's a light switch style flipper. That works on the straight push down as well. I just figured it would because the point of pushing down is behind the pivot, center of the pivot, so that works. And of course, light switch works as well. High saber grind, that's a flat grind. Nice chunk of steel, feels pretty nice. So we'll be reviewing this in the future. And um, well, here's some washers for the uh, O-rings for the uh, follow them off flashlight. There's the testing plate and some other testing media. Put that aside where I can keep it. And let me just briefly show you the uh, unit that we have here. Here we go. This is the PT50B. And this is the tester that we're going to use to uh, test the uh, sharpness of our blades. Uh, I have to do unboxing videos now because I'm still doing my sale and that really uses up a lot of my attention. And I'm doing my giveaway draw. That video is coming up very soon. So keep watching. Oh, and I almost forgot there's a second package that I got in the mail today. And I took it out of the main package. This is from Fermu. Now, I did a video about a Fermu product a while back. Do you remember what that product is that Fermu makes? Fermu does eyeglasses. And uh, I contacted them a second time to see if they would like to send me a second set of eyeglasses uh, for me to highlight on the channel. And uh, they said yes. So they send you a little screwdriver kit, a little couple nose piece replacements. Comes in every kit. Nice microfiber cloth bag, a nice package to put your glasses in, and let's open this up, and let's pull these out. This is the first time I'm seeing them, so uh, open up these arms. Okay, there's no springs on these arms. I used to have arms, well, these ones do as well. They've got little springs in them, but hey, my kids are all grown up and stuff now. I, need, I can get smaller glasses now, so here they are. These are brand new prescription glasses. They got all the coatings on them. You get to see what I look like. Well, not really. I get to edit the video, so I'm seeing it first, but you're seeing it before me. <laughs> they feel quite comfortable on the head just the way they are. Fermu is really good because they've got loads of glasses, and what you do is the, you take your size off of your existing glasses because you've got numbers on the sides, on the arms, and often on the bridge, you've got some numbers as well. And if those numbers are very close to the same, like this one's 5617, and this set is 5517. So very close to the same size glasses. That's why they fit my head, just put them right on, and they fit. I like how they fit. They fit quite well. They feel quite good. The other set that I got from them is the uh, blue light tint on it, and I use that when I'm uh, working on the computer for a long time. But I wanted all the time wear glasses that were with the new prescription as well. So I finally have them. They feel quite good. Fermu gives significant discounts. They ship worldwide. I've got a coupon code for you down below in the description. This company has loads of different styles. Uh, they sell just basic sunglasses as well. You can get from them or prescription sunglasses. 
eyeglasses in almost any different prescription up to uh, minus three and plus three. I think those are their limits for the prescription strength that they do over the mail, over email, or over the internet. They have like five or six different thicknesses that you can choose from. So the thinner the plastic gets, you know, a little bit more cost, but their costs are way lower than I can find anywhere that I found ever anywhere in Canada. Uh, probably cheaper than in the U.S. as well, or other countries maybe. And so you can get really low-cost glasses. They've got lots of buy one, get one deals going on quite often. Uh, if you buy one pair of glasses from them, they'll give you coupon codes for you to use with your family. And that's for Uh Yes, I do have insurance, but it's not an awful lot of insurance. And so if I spend very little on these glasses, and they pay, Firmu paid for about half of these because I got some upgrades that I paid for, I can make that claim to my insurance and my insurance pays for it. I did that with the other ones before. And so the receipts that they give are compatible with insurance companies, hopefully with your insurance company too. Certainly worked with mine, no problem. So um, there you go. Go to your eye doctors, get your prescription. The one thing I do recommend though is go to it either at your eye doctors or at a place where you can buy glasses. Get your PD measured. That's your pupil distance from your nose. And you can either get a one number PD and that's how far apart your pupils are, or you can get a two number PD, which is how far from the center are your pupils. If you can get a two number PD, your eyeglasses will be made that much more precisely. Because one of these, none of us are totally symmetrical. For me, the distance on one side is 34, the distance on the other side is 32, just because you're not perfectly symmetrical. And so if you can get that two, two number PD, there is in the uh, space for you to put your prescription, your details, you put in a two number PD and your glasses will be that much more precise because the perfect center of the lens will be made exactly centered with where your eyes are. That's for a move. Check them out. Check out my, the knives that I've got. Reviews coming soon and uh, another video about these glasses might be coming up pretty soon too. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing and all the good things you do for Canadian Cutting Edge. And my Patreon supporters, you guys are awesome. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb.